Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled, Complexity or Courage? Well, while President Bush was in office, he struck a compromise in his decision over stem cell research. He had three federal government funding options at the time. Number one, to allow the unlimited production of embryos in order to harvest their stem cells for research purposes. Number two, to ban all stem cell research, thus eliminating the need to create embryos. And number three, to permit research only on the stem lines, those are stem cells already harvested from discarded embryos, which may be cultivated for tissue and organ uh, production. Now, Mr. Bush chose the third option, reasoning that since the embryos which produce the stem lines have already been destroyed, we might as well get some use out of the valuable harvest that they, that they yielded. Of course, neither side of the debate at the time was happy. Most scientists who lobbied for unlimited production of embryos to fuel their work charged that this decision would hamper their progress in developing tissue and organ replacement research. The pro-life faction, on the other hand, argued that even using the stem cells from an embryo created and then destroyed for this purpose was morally repugnant and a step in the wrong, uh, in the wrong direction. Of course, the media weighed in to the fray by declaring that this issue was much too complex for easy decisions and it is complex, but the moral issue was not. Not at that time and not at this time as well. Simply stated, the crux of the matter is this. Does the end justify the means? Does the suffering for one group of people justify the killing of another? In other words, do individuals who are suffering have a legitimate right to create and then deny individual life to another so they can extend their own? In still other words, can the strong take from the weak simply because they need or they can? You know, it doesn't require great intellect to understand this moral question, but it does require courage. Well, that's it for today. My name is Mike Mazzalongo, and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.